everyone and welcome to another what's your question with mummy in a tutu this is my vlog series where you guys get to ask me any question about blogging life my love life um Alyssa being mummy in a tutu anything like that and i'll answer it on one of these vlogs so this vlog's question comes from um, Zoe over at Petite Pudding. I'm going to pop her details below so you can give her um, some um, blog love. She's another one of my amazing tribal members. And her question was, what are my post-promotion secrets? Okay, I'm not sure I've got any secrets. Um, I'm not sure I even do anything differently to, to anyone else. Um, sorry, itchy nose, random. Um but I'm quite happy to share with you what I do um, to promote post. Um, so to start with, um, you need a catchy title. I don't know about you, but I actually can't, I can't physically write a post unless I've got the title right in my head. So if I've got an idea for a post, I'll usually spend like two hours, two, three hours, just walking around the house, doing what I've got to do as normal with Alyssa. Um, or housework or whatever and I'll be thinking about the post idea in my head and trying to think of a title that works um, because unless the title clicks with me I know that it's not actually going to be um, a good blog post because if I can't get the title right then I won't get the the writing right for the rest of the post so first of all you need a title I am um, I'm partial to a good clickbait title you know, um, I've done posts that have been titled how to get noticed as um, a blogger boobs and ass. Um, you know, that was a really clickbaity title. Um, get off your ass. Blogging isn't a real job. Again, clickbaity title. They don't all have to have the word ass in, by the way. That's just two random examples. Um, one of my biggest ones was um, personal ad blogger seeks tribe. Um, and then I also followed that up with personal ad blogger seeks husband, which didn't work. Tribe one worked. Husband one didn't work. Um, so yeah, so a good title is always a good idea. Um, and then obviously write it, blah, blah, blah. So blog post promotion. Now I use Buffer um, to schedule. I actually have the small business one because I needed that number of, um, of <clears throat> posts available, especially when I'm running um, a giveaway. So I schedule, um, I schedule once to go on Pinterest and I actually sit down and write a proper paragraph for that. And I try and get in as many like possible search words as, as I could think of. So for example, recently I've done my chicken and mushroom vegetarian um, pie recipe. So, you know, I wrote um, I wrote a brief overview for Pinterest, you know, included vegetarian, chicken, corn, mushroom, um, and then leek, creamy sauce, pie, pastry, crust, and try and get all of those in there because the more words you can get in that you could think of, um, the more likely people are to find you. If you think that if you were looking for that recipe on Google, what words you would type in to try and find it, those are all the words that you should be including for Pinterest. Um, Twitter um twitter i tend to um schedule um for a new post that's brand new out that day i tend to schedule it three times for one day um to hit all the prime peak times so you got prime peak time in the morning which is 6 30 a.m to 8 30 a.m 9 ish then you've got um 12 to 12 until 1 30 p.m and then you've got 7 p.m till like 9 30 10 p.m these are the peak times when people are online and people will scroll through and like and things like that um so i schedule on the first day i schedule um them for those three peak times and then after that i'll for a week after i'll schedule it once maybe twice a day but i do schedule the full 24 hours because i have american followers as well so i'll make sure that i put one in english time and one in american time too um so that's twitter but i also use hashtags if you follow a group called um at bloggers blast on on twitter and then when you um promote something if you put hashtag bloggers blast on them um they'll actually um retweet it for you uh, and they've got like hundreds of thousands of followers and there are several different groups that do that you know if you want bloggers to read your post if you're doing bloggers tips and things like that then you might want to add the hashtag hashtag bloggers um, wanted bloggers required if you want um, if you're looking for um, brands to work with you can try hashtag pr request 
um, things like that. Um, and then it, it all depends really on who your post is aimed at. If I do food ones, I'll do hashtag foodies or hashtag foodie bloggers, that kind of thing. Um, same with Instagram, take um, your um, featured image or something like that. If you're adding that to your Instagram, I don't actually promote my posts on Instagram because I have sort of, I never thought I'd be someone who had a theme on their Instagram, but I do kind of have a theme. So I very, very rarely post um, featured images on my um, my Instagram. I do still tend to use a picture of Alyssa or Alyssa and I, or I do sometimes put pictures of me or of an item that I've got, like I got my camera for Christmas. So I did put that on there and I put pictures of food on there occasionally as well. Um, so yeah, if you do post something on Instagram, make sure that you use, um, all of the um, hashtags that you have available to be able to use. You can use up to 30 and there are also um, apps in the app store that will generate the um, hashtags for you. So that's good as well. Facebook, don't auto post to Facebook and don't use Buffer if you can. Use Facebook's own scheduling program um, because I have found that since I've stopped spamming my Facebook with like buffered um, posts and things like that, since I just post from Instagram to there and my own Facebook scheduler on the page, my reach has gone from like 30 to like 600. Um, it's really, really changed and I'm getting a lot more interaction as well. So I would say definitely um, just use the Facebook's own scheduler and you can still use hashtags as well. Um, you know, don't go nuts. I'd say two or three maximum because people don't want to be scrolling through like hundreds of hashtags to get to the post itself. Um, and I also find that if you write three or four, copy and paste the first three or four lines of your um, blog post in as well, um, because people will start reading, they'll be like, oh, I wanna know what happens next. So um, that's a really good way of promoting as well. I don't pay for sponsored posts. Um, I got a free 10 pound credit once on there because they were trying to get me to do it. So I used the 10 pounds free credit they gave me and I've not used anything else. Um, just because I don't know what kind of effect it'll have on my reach. People give varying opinions. So yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, if I'm, if I really like the post as well, I'll go and, I'll go and link dump it somewhere. So, um, there's, you know, the blogging mums club, that's a really good place to go and pop a link. And there's several bloggers face group, book groups like that, where you can actually go and do, um, things like that. Um, have a look in your local, um, uh, Facebook groups. This is a tip from Fran from Whinge Whinge Wine. Um, you know, go and interact in your local mummy Facebook groups and things. And if you think that you've got a post that's relevant to them, um, you know, pop it in there. Don't spam them because as Fran pointed out, they will kick you out. But you know, if it's going to be something that's useful to them, then try that. There. There's also, you know, Net Mums occasionally lets you um, pop links as well. And another one that's really good is head over to Stumble Upon. We actually have a tribal Stumble Upon where we take it in turns to stumble for each other, and that's really, really good too. Um, you know, and join a Facebook pod group, join a Twitter pod group, join an Instagram pod group. You know, and that way people like and comment on your post straight away. And when they do that, that boosts the reach on it. So more people will see it. So more people will like, so more people will comment and interact. Um, you know, and again, as I've said in like a previous vlog, try and ask a question in your promotion. Ask a question that's going to entice people to either read or answer the question, because then that'll create more interaction and more promotion. So thank you ever so much, Zoe, for that brilliant question. I think I've waffled on quite a lot about that one. Um, but yeah, thank you. I'm going to leave um, Zoe's information below so you can head over and um, give us some blog love. Don't forget, you can ask me a question as well. Um, you can pop it in the comments below on YouTube. You can um, head over to my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, forward slash or at Mamina Tutu. And um, I will add your question to my list for the vlogs. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.